Hello, my name is Ann Walzak. I'm an occupational therapist here at the Gaylord Specialty Healthcare. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about breathing and pneumonia in patients with spinal cord injury. So, how is respiratory function affected after spinal cord injury? Breathing is most affected by injuries higher on the spinal cord, such as in the cervical region. It can cause partial or complete paralysis of the respiratory muscles. 67% of persons with spinal cord injury experience respiratory complications. What to expect? At the cervical level one through three, most injuries may require a ventilator. At cervical injury three to four, the person may have paralysis of the diaphragm leading to impaired breathing. At cervical level five, the person may be ventilated initially and possibly return to independent breathing strength. Weak support muscles in the abdomen may lead to shallow breathing. At cervical level six through eight, the person is likely to breathe independently, but may have impaired breathing strength. They may have a weak cough that requires assist. At thoracic level one through four, the person is likely to breathe independently, but may require assist for coughing. At thoracic level T4 and below, the person is likely to have similar respiratory function to an individual without a spinal cord injury. Some of the treatments for breathing after spinal cord injury are deep diaphragmatic breathing if able, incentive spirometry, which is a piece of breathing equipment provided by respiratory therapy where you inhale to work on the muscles of your lungs and your alveoli to improve your breathing. You may also need an assisted cough to clear secretions. It's very important that smoking cessation occurs. And it's also important that you're up to date on your vaccinations. In the event that pneumonia does occur, it needs to be treated immediately. Pneumonia is an infection in one or both lungs. It causes the air sacs or the alveoli to fill with fluid. It can be caused by bacteria, virus, or fungi. After spinal cord injury, people are at higher risk. It can be very serious and life-threatening. Some of the symptoms of pneumonia are fever, wheezing, chills, cough, rapid breathing, chest pain, and malaise. The best technique is to prevent the pneumonia through regular exercise, avoid prolonged bed rest, a healthy diet, weight management, good posture, and support if weakness is a limiting factor, and do not smoke. Thank you for your time.